Hello, I'm Greg, and it's time for another tunnel take. Yeah, um, <clears throat> you know, I guess it's been a, maybe about a year ago since I uh, I did some reviews on um on the McBaron Seven C series tobaccos. This is this is their uh, black blend they call it, and um, the royal blend, the, the gold blend. The uh, regular blend and the uh, red blend, really inventive names. I guess. I mean, if the, if the name, their names, their names need to match their tin art because the, the tin art is awesome on these things. I mean, it really is to me. I mean, it really is. Um, I've been smoking these things recently, and when I gave that gave that um review. There was some kind of flavor, some kind of funk flavor that I was getting that I didn't like. And, um, but I've been smoking these things recently just to try them out again, and I'm not getting any of that. And, uh, so it's a good thing to sm smoke something four or five times before you give a, a solid review on anything. Of course, at, at, during that that review, I was I was saying that was my first time I had uh, smoked them. And I'm gonna be smoking some of the uh, the regular blend now. These blends here, the gold, the royal, and the uh, black, all are real close in the same family of one another. These are all McBlack McBarons, um, and they're huge tins. Let's see. Doesn't say how many grams it is, but anyway. Um, the the, uh, the regular is a uh, is a little more stronger aromatic. Uh, the other the, these three here are are. Are aromatics? Oh, they're all aromatics, but these three here are um, are um, about half the aromatic that this is. The uh, the red blend is their take on um, cherry, I think. I think that's what I was trying to pull off, but they did, didn't really they didn't really hit it good. Anyway, let's light her up here. Little wind today, not much. Not bad, I'm not getting any more of that strange flavor. Maybe just a bad day on me on my part. <laughs> Pretty day. Wow. I've got a new camera, a new phone. Um, I got the Note 10. I've had a Note 8 for about four or five years, I think, something like that. And uh, it was getting to the point where it was just about impossible to, to run any more text. And it would just call people randomly. Not random. It would, it would call a person I was texting just in the middle of a text, you know. Which is kind of embarrassing. You're trying to hang up on it as fast as you can, and, and um, 
and uh, um, and it would it would throw the cursor around as you're as you're writing a text. It would throw a cursor. The cursor would jump up way up in the middle of the text or something. Then you look up and you're like, wow, everything I just that last sentence was stuck up in the middle of this thing up here somewhere, you know. It was aggravating. So I got this Note 10. I got off of eBay for like $300. $310, something like that. I looked at the reviews and it was kind of like, um, it was, um, uh, the camera's options and its ability to last and all was about comparable to today's phones. So I said, all right, I'll do it. I haven't bought, my first smartphone I got was a Motorola years ago and that was the only phone I ever got that was recent. That was a, that was a new phone, you know new on the market type thing. I think a Note 8 had been out and then I, I jumped to a Note 2, I think. And then the Note, I don't know, up in the teens when I went to a Note 8. I think they're up in the 20s now, 24s or something, I don't know, something like that. And I'm just getting to Note, note 10. <laughs> But this thing has a wide angle lens. It's got three cameras on the back. One of them's a wide angle lens. One of them's a regular lens. One of them's a zoom. A double. I think it's du doubles the zoom. And that's the wide angle lens you're seeing now. So I can be pretty close to the camera. And, uh, and still get some view around me, you know. I don't know. Now, now to work that part of the uh, of the camera, I, I got to uh, see. I don't know where I'm at because I got to have the phone turned around where I can't see myself. So, hopefully, my head didn't get chopped off. But anyway, <laughs> maybe it was. Pretty good stuff, y'all. Try the McBaron 7, 7 C series out. This uh, this regular is uh, is okay. I mean, I haven't had any of them that that were something to write home about. But uh, you 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 might think so though. That's for sure. racket going on in the community today. Sounds so much pressure washing. First day off I've had in a while. Besides Friday when it rained. Which was nice. I'm even going to upload, upload this, but maybe I will. <laughs> Just want to see what the camera is going to do. I don't like the idea of not being able to see myself. I don't know if the camera stopped working. Here I am sitting there chit chatting. You know, I don't. I just don't know what's going on with the with the camera. But turned around, it doesn't have the uh, it doesn't have the uh, wide angle capability. But I do have a wide angle lens inside I can clip onto the onto the camera. Clip around the phone, you know, and and, uh, and it gives me that.
Let's talk about something. I can do that. <laughs> something's been on my mind for a while. Never, never jumped up to the front of my mind. I don't think I've ever even written it down. Maybe I have. But, uh, let's talk about having a, a drive to, a drive for knowledge, a seeking mind, put it that way. There's a lot of, um, there's a lot of, uh, noble, uh, things that that come from being a, a truth seeker or a person that wants to find out philosophies and stuff, you know. But it can move to the point in your life where to me it comes across as you simply being lost. Uh, you're constantly wondering. You're going to spend your whole life wondering. You're never going to set your mind onto a belief system that you say, okay, I can build my life around this. You know. So it is possible just to live a life of lostness, wondering all the time. No, no, your, your, your soul is not firmly planted anywhere. You know. And then to me, it just, it, it's really not a, not a noble thing. It's just a, uh, avoiding some truths that you can't deal with, maybe. You know, I don't know. There's nothing wrong with saying I don't have the answer to something. Don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with, with searching. But after a while, the search is over with. My gosh, you know. Make up your mind, you know. What's it going to be? It brings the stability of life when you're, when you're like that. Yeah. Otherwise, you're, otherwise, it's kind of like a... It's kind of like you're ricocheting off the walls and you're driving down the down the racetrack, you know. S sit a course. Go ahead and sit a course, you know. There's some variables in everything, but have a but have a goal. My goodness, have a goal. Anyway, you guys have a good day. I might get out my bike and do a little video and just a little biking video just to help some of the bikers around, you know, that are watching the channel. I've got a uh, my first first vehicle I ever bought was a motorcycle, so I've had my license since I was 16. I'm 58 now. And, um, um, I wouldn't really recommend a 16-year-old uh, to have a motorcycle or a first vehicle because, um, you need to know, you need to learn traffic patterns, you know, that's that's one of the big things about motorcycles and just being on the road in general you need to learn traffic patterns and how vehicles how people in those vehicles move those vehicles around in regular traffic moments you know and uh that way you'll, you're you're not caught off guard very much when uh when a car moves here or there you know you, you, you understand blind spots and stuff like that and uh, you, you have a clear understanding of it more than just being taught by the driving instructor you know, about it if you've been you know, been driving for two or three years something like that you know
But anyway, I think I'm going to do that. Good tobacco. This is impressing me more and more all the time. I mean, every time I smoke it, it's, wow. I'll see you guys. Bye now. Where the button is here. <laughs>